Hi guys, this is Stephanie from Rapid Resizer and today I'm going to show you guys how to turn a photo into a picture stencil and then from there use the draw tool to further customize your design and then print it. So you'll see here I've made these little home sweet home designs so I'm going to show you guys how to make one. So I'm going to start by uploading my photo and if you guys don't have the premium version of this software you'll still be able to turn your photos into a black and white stencil like this one. Okay, so now that I've made my stencil I'm going to click customize and print and this will take me back to the printing page. So instead of going ahead and printing I'm going to click customize your design and then from there click on draw so this is the little design that I'm going to make so I'm going to show you guys how to do that I'm going to click restore original and then it should just give me my picture stenciled image which is pretty big because my image file size is probably Pretty large but that's okay so I'm gonna click on the erase tool and I'm just going to erase any unwanted parts in my design any little flex from the picture stencil maker or anything that you don't want to include so I'm just gonna go like that okay and maybe on the edges here. Okay, good enough. Okay, so now that I've erased the unwanted parts from my design, I'm going to add text. So you can do that by clicking here, and then you'll see that you'll have the full list of fonts available to choose from. So I'll just go with this one and I'm going to type home sweet home for my design so I'm going to start by typing home sweet and then from there I'm going to use the arc feature to curve my design 90 degrees you can kind of play around with it depending on how much you want your design to curve I'm just going to go with 90 degrees okay and then I'm going to add that to my design and I'm going to enlarge it and place it on top. Okay. And then I'm going to click add text. And now I'm just going to type home. And I want my lettering to curve the other way. So I'm going to type negative 90 degrees and then you'll see that it's curved my font the other way so I'm going to place this down here and I'm just going to zoom out a little and reposition my picture okay so the final thing I'm going to show you guys how to do is add a border so I'm going to start by clicking on line style here and you'll see you'll have the option to choose between solid, dashes, and dots. So I'm going to go with dots and you can use this to change the width of your border or line, whatever you're using this for, and also you can change the color. So now that I've chosen my line style, I'm going to click on the circle draw tool and just clicking in the middle of my design I'm going to click and just drag my border around my design like that and then I'm just going to whoops, click on the hand tool and I'm just going to readjust or reposition my design a little bit okay so this is my design that I've made using the draw tool and the picture stencil maker. 
So now that I'm done, I'm going to click on the little printer icon and this will take me back to the printing page. And just as an example, I'm going to make my design about 30 inches wide. And you'll see that it's made my design three by four sheets. So a total of 12 printer sheets big. So if you would like, it will print like this, just to give you guys a sense of how big I've made my design. Okay, so that's everything. So if you guys have any questions about how to use the draw tool or uploading photos to the draw tool, uh, please feel free to comment below with your questions and like this video if you guys found it helpful. Um, I know using the draw tool at first can be kind of tricky to learn because if you're unfamiliar with it. So like this video if you guys found it helpful and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials and follow us on Facebook, Pinterest, and Instagram for craft ideas and other things. So thank you guys for watching and have an awesome day.